All right, welcome back. This is a new mural of mine. This one is in downtown Sarasota, Florida. The same city I was born in back in 1982. So this is really cool that I'm finally getting a big mural in my home city. This mural is a portrait of Buck O'Neill, who was a legendary baseball player from back in the 30s and 40s. He did some growing up in Sarasota and spent some time here and made a difference for this community back in the day, so we want to keep, keep his legacy going and paint him on the wall so people remember him in the history of this area. I was hired by a couple different groups that worked together. We got Dream Large, we got Rosemary Art and Design District, and we got the Walter Gilbert Mural Initiative. So they selected me to paint this portrait, and I'm very honored to do this. This is really, really fun painting right here. As you can see, I'm putting up some tape lines, just using some painter's tape. And then I can basically use that as a grid method and transfer Buck's portrait from a small piece of paper reference image to 42 foot tall on the wall. So I'm just starting out by outlining him uh, in chalk. And then once I have everything positioned where I, would, where I want it and it looks good, then I'll go back in with some paint and a brush and permanently paint those lines on there. So the, the next step after I get Buck's body outlined on a wall is I have to do my background, which consists of three giant diamonds representing baseball diamonds. Now these extend from the bottom to the top of these windows. I got two bright red ones and a blue one in the middle and where they overlap, they create purple. So basically I'm just taking my points on my wall, taping a piece of string with some duct tape to a certain point and pulling that string tight down to the other point. And then I take a long six foot straight edge level and I follow that line with the string and I just draw with chalk a chalk line and then when I'm done with that I pull the string off and use some paint and then go ahead and fill in those diamonds with the colors which you'll see in the next slide here. So anyways, this is an honor, like I said. This was a lot of fun. This whole lift action was a lot of fun, believe it or not, even at the highest point. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Please give this a share if you don't mind. This was a lot of work, I had a lot of fun, and uh, enjoy the rest of the video. Thanks.
there, friends. Uh, right now, I'm basically finished up with my diamond backgrounds for the most part. I got one little little part to do on those, but I'm going to start moving on to his body now. About halfway up. Coming up to his head. His head's probably 35 foot up. Swing her over to the wall closer. It's hot out. All right, I'm gonna go up to his glove and get started on that. All right. Might be a little hard to see. Got the glove going. Just layering in different shades of brown, starting at light and going to dark. A lot of the, a lot of the glove is actually just light reflection, so I'll be just working with the base coat of the, of the actual building as my white instead of painting it over and then painting white on top. Just use it to your advantage. So I'm gonna keep working on this. weekend's my birthday and I'm not going to be painting for the next two days I don't think. So I'm starting on the sleeve now. Just doing some shading, texture, folds.
hardest part. And saving his face till last. It's not easy because my reference image is a very pixelated, blurry image from like 1930 something. So that's what I'm doing now. Kind of weird looking, but just layering in colors till I get it right. You can see how big his face is compared to my hand. So I'm gonna keep working away on this.